Bite of Vengeance, Blood Oath, Book 3, by R. L. Calder, is the third entry in a dark paranormal romance series centered around the protagonist, who is deeply entangled in a dangerous and mystical world ruled by powerful were creatures, vampiric beings, and magical forces. As the story continuation, the protagonist must navigate this treacherous landscape, fueled by a desire for revenge, survival, and the inevitable complexities of love and alliances. The tale picks up with the protagonist still reeling from the events of the previous books. Having made a blood oath, she is bound by this mystical pact, the ramifications of which are still unfolding. The oath demands loyalty to the point of self-sacrifice and has positioned her at the heart of a deadly power struggle within the supernatural world. The protagonist must now contend with new responsibilities and the loaded expectations that come with her growing powers and pivotal role in the unfolding events. Throughout the story, the protagonist grapples with her past and her identity, shaped by a history of betrayal and mistraculation. She is haunted by the events that have led her to this point, including the defining moment when her vengeance was ignited by personal loss. Her thirst for retribution has driven her deeper into the world of darkness, and she's become a formidable force in her own right, feared by many and trusting of few. The relationships with her romantic interests, typically complex and intertwined with her oath and quest for vengeance, evolve further in this book. A theme of forbidden love persists, bringing additional tension and conflict to the story as these bonds are tested by external threats and internal turmoil. These relationships add a layer of emotional depth to the narrative, offering moments of vulnerability amid the rampant chaos. Alliance and trust become central themes as the protagonist needs to rely on others to survive and achieve her goals. The intricate web of friendships, kinships, and rivalries that permeates the supernatural community is a cross weaved with care, where the wrong choice or unwary ally can prove fatal. Through trials and skirmish, loyalties are formed, solidified, or tragically broken, reshaping the landscape of power and influence. Within the supernatural community, there's a hierarchy to be navigated where ancient beings, potent and enigmatic, hold sway over different factions. These mighty individuals and clans have their own agendas, which increasingly intersect with the journey of the protagonist. She finds herself sometimes as a pawn, at other times as a queen on this chessboard of predators, where every move could lead to monumental shifts in her quest for vengeance. As the protagonist continues on her journey, she has to delve deeper into the dark arts and tap into her latent abilities. She encounters mystical artifacts, relics of power, and forbidden texts that help her unlock new facets of her potential. The learning curve is steep and fraught with peril, for such power often comes with harrowing consequences or lethal temptations. Each step forward in her command of these dark forces brings her closer to her objectives but also to the brink of losing herself to the darkness that she harnesses. The supernatural world is a place of perpetual conflict, and the protagonist must navigate through a series of harrowing encounters and battles. There is the presence of an oppressive villain or antagonistic force that pushes the tale forward, providing the catalyst for the protagonist's vengeful motivations and the critical opposition that must be overcome. This adversary embodies the corruption and tyranny that the protagonist seeks to dismantle, and their clashes are both personal and grand in scale. Throughout the narrative, themes of sacrifice and redemption are prominent. The protagonist must confront the possibility that achieving her goals may require the ultimate sacrifice, or that her path of vengeance could lead to a more profound redemption. Whether it is the well-being of those she loves or the fate of the supernatural communities, the weight of her decisions and the cost of her actions are heavy burdens to bear. Betrayals and twists abound, as nothing is quite as it seems. The protagonist is often faced with unexpected revelations about her allies, her enemies, and even herself. These revelations force her to constantly reassess her strategies and her trust in those around her. The duplicity of the supernatural world requires a careful balance of cunning and brute force, where one misstep can lead to disaster. The novel's climax builds to an intense crescendo of action, emotion, and supernatural power. The protagonist must marshal all of her acquired skills, 
knowledge, and alliances in a final confrontation with the malevolent forces that threaten all she holds dear. It's a battle not just for survival, but for the soul of the community and the heart of the protagonist. In conclusion, Bite of Vengeance, Blood Oath Book 3, is a tale woven with dark magic, fraught alliances, and forbidden romances. The protagonist stands at the eye of the storm, her every decision rippling through the supernatural world, as her thirst for vengeance drives her toward an uncertain destiny, marked by power, peril, and the ever-looming threat of losing herself to the darkness within. As relationships evolve and conflicts escalate, the story races toward an explosive confrontation that will leave the landscape of the supernatural realm forever changed. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.